Professor, someone's here for you. What's the issue? Mexican national, a prosecutor. He's holed up in a church trying to claim sanctuary. Why me? You're the only one available. Lies, corruption, China. and murder That's all in a fair. day's work for the spies of the Romeo section. It's a brand new series that premieres tonight on CBC. And joining me right now, we have two of the stars. We have Juan Rieger and also Andrew Airely that joins us this morning. So first off, let's talk about this. Uh, Andrew, you're Wolfgang in the show itself. I play Wolfgang McGee, yes, a professor at Pacific Spirit University and also a former intelligence agent. And the Romeo section itself is about gaining intelligence through being Romeo and Juliet. Uh, yes, it's, use, it's using intelligence assets and encouraging them to uh, use their wiles, whether they're male or female, to get into a position where they can bring you some valuable intelligence. Valuable intelligence. And Juan, you know, you, you've been uh, named as Hollywood's uh, star to watch. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter named you that. Uh, you were on uh, Narcos as well, and now you're in this show, this role that's happening, that's premieres this evening. Tell me a little bit about the experience and uh, your seduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, play, I play Rufus, who's one of the Romeo spies that's recruited by this guy, uh, a little bit against his, his own will. And, uh, and yeah, it's been an incredible experience working with Chris Haddock and with cast members like such as Andrew and Jemmy and all the other guys we get to work with and loving, loving every minute of it. And it seems like seduction's a part of your uh, forte right now because Fifty Shades of Grey as well as uh, is something where you've already appeared on and you will be in the next Yes, um, well, my, my son in that movie is doing more of the seducing than, than <laughs> I am, but uh, I haven't seen the script for the second one. But uh, Yes, so that seems to be a theme that's following me around the last couple of months. So tell me a little bit, Andrew, what people can expect during the course of the series. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a spy espionage thriller. It's set in a couple of worlds. It's a very uh, murky uh, kind of world. You see people that are trying to fight for themselves. Uh, there's a lot of betrayal, um, trust issues. I think it's going to be time for me to wrap things up. The storylines, we we kind of work in three or four different worlds, but they all overlap uh, from time to time. And, you know, we hear about uh, the FBI, but is the Canadian the spy agency, is it cool enough, do you think, to, to pull people in? Oh, I think we've, uh, it's one of the great things about the show is I think that Chris Haddock has set this in Vancouver. I think there's, you know, very often we, Canadian set shows, we play sort of generic uh, anywhere USA or anywhere Canada. Um, this is definitively set in Vancouver and it's Canadian stories. Some of the plots and themes are things that Chris, through his sources, has heard about. Um, so I, we've got plenty of sexy stories within the Canadian spy. And Chris has a really good uh, track record, of course, with the Da Vinci and Quest as well. Yeah. yeah. So it's something to look forward to. Once again, it's going to air tonight. Premieres at 9 o'clock on the CBC. For more information, you can head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Juan and uh, Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you for having uh, us. We're still, they're cheering still. Go Jays, go. But they're, you're just, go Jays. you're going to be on the Jays. plane tonight to Vancouver. Absolutely, but uh, go Jays. Go Jays, okay. <laughs> you're going to catch that right after the Jays game tonight. At and then watch on the Romeo section. You got